Because think about it, do you want to end up, okay, do you want to end up with a man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to end up with a man. Well, we he was need... he was half in the bag. No, he, he was actually fun. he was all the way in the bag. He no, was, in the, he was bag. in the bag. Bag was zipped up, and he was head to Let's the. Let's just morgue. say he was being pickled he in that was, bag. Oh, that bag was. <laughs> oh, sir, ew, 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 I hate the smell of this one. <laughs> Why is he the biggest chip too? Here, here, smell the hot pot. This was open no, I yesterday. Got, I, got I actually gave him the one. This was open yesterday. No. <laughs> Welcome to Annie Wood. I have my friend, the hilarious Steph Taleb on the podcast. She is so funny. She is my sister at the Comedy Store. Um, I've just started to really become friends with her. She's so fun. I just did her podcast, The Steph Infection, which is so funny that she releases at the exact same time as this one. So after you watch this, go see that. Or if you came from that episode, I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy this one too. She's so funny. She has all of her dates in the bio on her Instagram, which is just... S-T-E-P-H-T-O-L-E-V. Check her out. She's so funny. It's, she's <laughs> crazy. I love her. Um, I am on the road. I am so excited. I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in Austin, Texas, the 6th and 7th of this beautiful month, October. I'm going to be in La Jolla at the Comedy Store, October 13th and 15th. Uh, 13th or 15th. I was going to be filming my special there. I'm actually moving it, but please still come. It's going to be such a great weekend and we're going to shoot a lot of content. So it won't be my special, but it will be a special weekend. I can't wait to see you guys. Then I'll be in San Jose, November 17th and 18th and in Houston, Texas at the Houston Improv, December 15th and 16th. I have a lot more shows getting added. So go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows to get them. And we're trying to figure out the next time for the next Annie Wood and Friends, but it's going to be awesome, so look out for that as well. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Click Hit our that bell, bell, baby. Hit the bell. We love you. We're having so much fun here. We have so many fun episodes coming up, so many great guests, really big guests, really amazing guests, and we're so excited to have you here. We love sharing the woods with you. Oh. Oh. Welcome to Annie Wood. All right, guys, welcome <laughs> to Annie Wood. We have one of my faves. I literally texted her the other night. I need your manic energy around me. Where are you? Mm -hmm. um, she was busy. It was annoying. She actually <laughs> didn't care and didn't show up. So that's fine. And now here I am pandering to her. Yes. Uh, one of my faves, Steph Toloff. You may know her from Bill Burr's Bill Burr's Presents. Mm -hmm. These Friends Who Kill. Yeah, Friends yeah, Friends yeah. Who Kill. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That was the name of it? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I didn't pick the name. Burr is a friend of the show. We love Burr. He's going to be on soon. Friends who kill, eh? I was just happy to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was this happy to exciting. be there. I was ready to go. I was talking to him on the phone about you yes, the, yeah, two days ago. Yeah, what the heck ago. was that? I just was like, stuff so funny. He's like, oh my God, I got her coming in my movie, and blah, 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 blah. He's the best. Yeah. Yeah, I have a very small role where I play pretty much me as a disgusting pig. I like how you're in everyone's movies, just being so crazy. I'm being like me. People are like, we got to put her in stuff. Because I'm... I think I just have a very specific look. Is it Tolav? Am I saying it right? No, Tolev. Tolev. Oh, yeah, sorry. Close enough. I was like, yeah. I'm like, Laura, we got Laura Bites over here. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Bites you if you say it wrong. <laughs> yeah, she really does. Um, I, um, well, I'm a leader man, letter man. People get me wrong. I got you too. wrong before, so you're allowed. You were so Tolev. mad. I think it was the first time I Was I really you mad? Yeah, you were like, what no. the f I was really mad. No, but you said something on stage and I felt really bad after. Oh my God, I certainly was not truly mad. No, I'm so no, sorry no, if that it came was like up. a joke thing. I think I have like a. And people think I'm for real. <laughs> but I well, like that. Is that fun? <laughs> people are, like are scared people are like, of you at the store? Uh, yeah, they are, right? Sometimes. They're yeah. in places there. I think okay. people have gotten over it. But wouldn't you rather... I was talking to Greg Fitzsimmons about this. I hate when people are just like referring to a comic and goes, yeah, he's really nice. Like, uh, that's my nightmare. Oh, that... Well, no one's saying that about you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm like, don't tell anyone. I, well, I remember Jim Norton was like... When I used to open for him, he's like, I like Annie because she's so mean. I'm like, yes. Yeah, you don't want nice. Nice is unfunny. You want people nice to find bad. out you're nice. Nice is like for yeah, the, for private. Yeah, yeah. Nice is private. I'm nice. Yeah. People don't know I'm nice. I think I'm a disgusting pig. Always talking about my ingrown hair that I still am talking about. But uh, I start to match her like voice. Todd's going to have trouble figuring out what we're saying. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like when I'm around you, I'm like, like you're talking. And I'm like, go. I'm like, keep going. Keep going. I'm like, no clue what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. But I'm just laughing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, are we mad at the person? Are we you happy? You did that the other day at the store. You walk by and you're like, I'm like, you have no idea what I'm saying I'm right like, now. And then you walk it. I'm like, I love it though. <laughs> it was fun. Not to objectify you, but. Please do. I watch you like, like you're doing an act even when you're not doing an act. Yeah, I, it's, it, I'm like a, I'm a clown. So you got back from San Francisco. You drove. I drove today. That was fucking stupid. Why'd I slapped myself drive? across the face so hard today. I was falling asleep at the wheel. I've never done that before. Well, I, was like, I can't die now. I've definitely done it. 
I was, cl- and I did a long, uh, you know, you close your eyes for a little too long. No, you're like, I'll just give myself a little break. <laughs> or it's like, <laughs> do you ever do this when you're driving where good. you forget you're driving for like a long time? Yeah. Like, I went like a full hour. I was like, I'm on the road. I was like, <laughs> I forgot I was there. I uh, I had a drive back from San, San Diego when I did ayahuasca for the first time. And you're like oh. high and exhausted. Like there's no reason I should have been no. on the road. And I, I was like driving back and I kept like being like, Oh my God, the sky and the mountains are so pretty. And I would like turn my whole body and towards them. Like, yeah, like, ah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But those things, I'm so used to rolling on those anyway that I, my body no longer. You don't feel it? I don't even like, it doesn't really jerk me into anything oh, anymore. It will wake me up. Listen, good. it will wake me up. Jesus. But I, I drove, go- um, I drove cause I, I don't want to fly every weekend. I, I'm sick of being in the air. Yeah. I'm sick up there. Is it the air or the getting in? It's the whole thing. It's the getting in. It's the whole thing. I brought my dog and I'm regretting it. I really am regretting bringing Susan right now. I'm like, she's great. Lie down right now before I remove your eyes. I swear to God. <laughs> Just called Pita called me. <laughs> she's a CNI. You're the CNI uh, caretaker. Am, she's the I'm, blind one. You have to walk around because you've horrendous. You've DI'd her. How um, old is she? Four. Oh, it's an interesting age to hate your dog. No, I don't. I love her so much. I have a name tattooed on me. I'm obsessed. That's, I'm literally, that's an abusive parent move. I'm, I, no, no. This way you can tell you don't abuse a dog. I saw a TikTok trend where you pretend to punch someone. They don't flinch. Susan, look here. <laughs> it would be so See? funny if she flinched. <laughs> she I, was like, I was like, I was like praying. I was like, please flinch, please flinch, please flinch. She flinched and starts crying. I'm like, I was like, I swear she's I never just, done this before. I, I step on her paw. I have time to edit it so I don't see it. <laughs> like, I will f*** oh your dog God. up just to have that moment. That'd be so funny. Susan? Oh. oh, we forgive you. Now I like her again. No, Why I'm does kidding. she look like such a pop star? Oh, hi. I do hi, love her so I much. You. I want people listening to this thing. I'm just like, guys, listen. <sighs> look, I love my dog. I, and I just miss her. That's why I want to bring her today because I've been on the road and I didn't bring her with me. And Here's the thing you need a domestic partner because I having did, a dog alone is it's too it, much. You're putting too much on the dog. You need too I, I much really on the am. dog. You need the dog to like show you like order and control uh-huh. and listen to you. you need, that's what Todd's for. I go, oh, good. Todd, <laughs> sit, sit, paw. See, I need, yeah, I need, I need a Todd. No, I've had, listen, can I, Todd, everyone you actually Todd's? does need, need and deserve a Todd. I, what the heck? I need, I got, yeah, I, I had sex last night and it was great. I had to keep slipping that in there because you're glazing over it, but it was very good. So I have to keep being like. <laughs> Did we talk about it yet? No, I. I don't I, think I, on camera we talked about it yet. No. And I think I, I, I I'm going to say this. I squirted more than I've ever squirted in my life last now, night. Now, when did you, because Todd, my first squirt was with Todd. Mm. And um, my it first makes squirt. things <laughs> my first squirt. Um, it makes things different. It's like more of a thing. Oh now. yeah, it it changes it up down there. Yeah, you go like okay, so now, so now I do this. So this now is I'm, now this is a thing. Now this is a thing. I'm glad this didn't happen when I was not with my final forever partner because oh, yeah, people like it too much too. They do like it, but it's also do you bring like a roll of quarters? I mean, this is just your pandering. <laughs> I mean, now you're pandering. Now she's pandering. Now she's actually pandering. It's crazy. She's so cute. Well, that's why you can never really be mad at her. And I'm not ever mad at her. She's so. Cute. Wait, I want to talk about your sex, but I want to tell you about this. Real quick. Well, because they got to do their laundry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes sense. No, I, mean, I, I bring towels or, yeah. You come with a bag. You look <laughs> a like you're going to murder them. Yeah. There's a baseball bat. <laughs> beach umbrella, beach towels. Um, <laughs> no, I, well, I, thank God there was two hotel beds. Because right. one was the one was for soaking, one was for sleeping. And does the person that you, the man, sorry, we mm. got to gender them. It was, you. It, this with, was with a your place. outfit, we got to make sure. How I look and sound, it was in fact a man. <laughs> and no one does in fact believe I'm straight. And I have to keep, oh my God, a woman in line last night at my San Fran show was like, are you really not, you're really straight? I'm like, yeah. She's like, the things I do to you. I was like, this is creepier than a man. <laughs> you're like, and that was the first quarter of the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, women are full predators. Yeah, I was like, this is terrifying. Well, because they're used to having to turn girls that are just the least bit mm-hmm, gay, mm-hmm. full gay. So they really have to manipulate and get in, you know? She was kind of working her way. I mean, it, yeah. yeah. She looked was she like hot? Vic, no, she looked like Vicky Barbalak. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Vicky's great, but I'm not f-ing, I'm not f-ing. A like trail, casino trail. star from the goddamn. By the way, 60s. is that not the dream casino star? No, you want to do that? Oh, I think it's what all I want. I'm pretty no, sure. No, you want to move to Vegas and just be that person? <laughs> I think that's all I want. Ew. I don't know. Tell me what's better. You'd have so much. Bl- you would be that woman just sitting. You'd be smoking for sure. Cigarette after cigarette, long thin ones, <laughs> ashing all over yourself, not even noticing. I have fake I cigarettes. Like, yeah, in like, there. I was like, you have something for I sure over here. I, I don't. I don't want that. I want to move to the woods. You want to quit comedy and move to the no, woods? No, I don't want to quit. But I mean, yeah, at some point, <laughs> you know, I'm actually picturing you. <laughs> what? You're just full lesbo at this point, okay? You take. You have like a chainsaw, 
you got into the woods with your, <laughs> obviously your wife, uh-huh, uh-huh, and, uh, uh-huh. partner, whatever uh-huh, you want to call her. Uh-huh. You cut down the trees. You make a stage in the woods. Mm-hmm. You invite people. <laughs> you have like, it's like your version of what Chappelle did, but it's like. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's all lesbians. But everyone's in car hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's in plaid and golf carts. No, it is, are you mad at this for saying this? No, oh my pissed. God, I'm not pissed. What the hell? I'm actually thinking about it now, thinking that this could work. Because think about it. Do you want to end up, okay, do you want to end up with a man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to end up with a man. I, yeah, if, I, if I'm breaking Don't things down here. <laughs> yes, I, I, in fact, would like to be with a man. Here's the thing. The Don't lesbians eventually are like. Do we get done with them, though? Or do you get done with women? I, the, I the women that like me girl. are scary. They're, they're more manly than me. And I'm like, well, we need a little balance here. Yeah. We can't have two men. It's men. Now. It's I'm with a man again. And are the want... men that you date, are they, what do they end up looking? Are they more masculine or? No, yeah. I mean, date for a bit. Lord knows what yeah. I'm doing at this point. You are out there. You're getting it. I'm, I'll tell you what I've decided though. And I'm, I'm, I want to announce this publicly. I'm no longer f-ing fans. That is it. I, I've, I've did my last one and I got. I'm shocked. Ooh. No. I'm shocked that you do it. It's bad. I'm shocked that you do it. It's done. I'm proud of you. I think you did something important. <laughs> it was me giving back. If you don't buy merch, I'll suck it. That's what it is. Blazing. It was good. It was good what you did. I don't, I, I, yeah, I, I, I've recently had an, had an one recently and I'm, oh, it's done now. I've got, I've, I'm beyond the ick. I, I am so. Have you ever got like sent a selfie from somebody and went no, and like actually puked? There, it's there's something about a guy in the audience hitting on me where I'm like, I just you would have to like, if you were a fan of mine and you wanted to hook up with me, you would have had to have like gotten a brain injury and forgotten you were at the show. Like I can't, I just I don't mm-hmm. want that dynamic is too. It's not good, and then they get weird right after. Very weird. That's a problem, and I think they won't get weird. Then they get weird. How do they get weird? Which way? Well, this guy changed his uh, Instagram uh, photo to me and him when he came at me in the meet and greet line. You know, they're... That's a bit much. Todd? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's a bit That's a bit of a... That's. I was like, uh-oh, oopsies, here we go. Yeah, we did this. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Ooh, and now I know, like, because they know a lot about us. They know too much about us. They know a lot about us. They know too much about they us. They could be a nice guy, but now They've I'm created spooked. a thing of us, yeah. and how do we get out of it? I don't know. But I hooked up with one fan. Sorry, Todd. He was very hot, Todd. Don't change the subject. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, almost you're like really to thirsty. Do, you're going to do a fool's gulp while I'm talking, Todd. <laughs> He's very parched uh, right this exact a second. A fool's gulp. There you go. Well, no, I won't. Can I have my water, too? <laughs> <laughs> the idea that I got everyone drinks and yeah. then at them, it's yeah. so hot in here. We've turned the fan off. It, it's realize. the I'm hottest so it's ever parched. been. Yeah, I'm very She's harsh. been driving. She's got like a road trip. Oh, mouth. I got. Oh, I got road ass. Too. You look great, I, though. Sh- I, I plastered on my makeup. You look you. really good. No, no, I would love to. Thank you for doing that. A lot of the women I have on here will not do their makeup, and then they'll be so mad at no, me. And I'm like, I'm oh, not doing I have this. good cameras. Do you, you think I, I got cheap cameras? Oh, I've. I follow you. I see your shit. I was like, I'm coming in with 90 layers no, of cover. No, no, you on. gotta do a little. I see the rouge. You look mm-hmm. great. I got some rouge. I got some and whatever the thing's called. The winged. Mm-hmm. You do good liner. What's it called? The Wait, it makes it like lighter, like the little. Oh, I love the highlighter stuff. Highlighter, yeah, oh, highlighter, yeah, yeah. Highlighters are about. You yeah, look like yeah. a nice little glazed. Mm-hmm. Wait, what did you? Your thing with the is the one that's doing well. Your clip, the one about the guy from Hinge. Yeah, oh my God. it's so. Can funny. I read this to you? Okay. Your clips are so funny. No, can I read this to you? Thank yes. you. Yes. So I have a new joke. You go look at it. I'm not going to read the joke, but like it's about this guy named Joel who literally. Has said he, he reached out to you yet? His friend just did. So the, oh. the clip is about me, like this, this crazy guy on Hinge said, he pretty much said he killed his dog it's just, uh, in our first opening conversation. This guy writes to me, I know this sounds, cr- today, 5 p.m., I know it sounds crazy, but the Joel guy with the dead dog, ginger guy with the black lab, that was him, is a good well, guy. the dog's more the dog's, green at this point. The, the dog's decomposing. He's <laughs> not really black anymore. The, the dog is uh, bones <laughs> underground. He recently got diagnosed with some psychiatric issues. Oh, no. And has a heart of gold. Just some difficulty making reasonable decisions at the moment. Uh, like lighting up a cigarette at Whole Foods type of reasoning decisions. Thank you for turning the tragedy of his dog death comedic, though. You had me rolling the fuck over. I was like, what? I'm not taking the clip down. If that's what they think this is. That's definitely not what he's saying. But what he's saying is a little more troubling. And you're. And now I feel like well, you, you killed your dog. No. I think your subconscious is trying to protect you from what he's telling you. This guy is. 
fucking insane. That's that you literally just announced an insane person on. Yeah, and I don't, I don't explain what he looks like on stage. No. What the heck. But we knew he was going to be a gender. I want to. I want to show you what the present I have for you. Yeah, and Todd. Please. Okay, so here. So okay. We are we talking about the ring? We're gonna. Of course, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> this was I, a I'm too excited. Moment. I'm too excited. I, I have to show you. Well, Steph and I share a common. I don't want to call it, enemy. Feels too like no, no, no. It's not an enemy. No, no, it's not an enemy. Uh, an well, enemy is like he's an absolute moron. There's something wrong. Something's up. Something's with, up. Something's, something's up going on. But here's the thing: deep down, he is a nice guy. No, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Is he a jeweler? No. <laughs> no is he a comedian? Nowhere. I don't think so. Well, no, no. We need to take both those off the We're resume. We're not really both sure those, what yeah. he does or how he got near Haley Bieber, but it happened. <laughs> you got near Haley Bieber in the list. There's a picture of him in like this at lunch don't with even. him and Haley. And I literally, that's when I text him about the ring, I go, hey, the Biebers aren't going to save you from this one. The, the fact that I literally walk by the store and I see you and Danson on stage and I went, I never. Danson is. So, okay. I, I, I'm also going to blame Todd though on this. Why did you even go to the guy for the ring? I didn't want to. That was I told, idea. Okay. Keep for years, this guy's been grooming me. He's been grooming me. <laughs> He's been grooming me. He's been pulling out his little his little measuring thing for the ring. He has um. I've never seen him. I've known the guy for almost 15 years. <laughs> I've known Jeff for literally 15 years. He's Toronto. This is, he's known to this podcast as Heavy. Okay, Heavy. Okay. Yeah. So Heavy, this is how I know Heavy. Heavy and I started early in, in Toronto. He you have to understand, he dangled the size of his keychain. I don't understand. He has he the this. full thing in his pocket. He's psychotic. You can hear now you notice that you hear a jingling. There's a jingle. He pull, brings out and he goes, Find out what ring size you are. I want to like help you with a ring one And I'm like, sure, whatever, whatever. But then it comes time where I have to like put these things together and I'm like, all right, I know this guy. Cause he he got in there. Oh, he got in there. He has a way of getting in there. He was with the beavers. There. I listen. I'm not gonna look. I fell for a thing. I accept responsibility for it, but so did Haley and Justin Bieber. <laughs> he, here's he, like I, I, I'm like honestly like I'm not even I'm not even being mean to Heavy. It's just it, he it, won't it's, know that we're being mean. He doesn't understand. Also, also, I everything I'm saying right now, I've said to his face like he's he's crazy. He so he okay so he in Toronto, he brings in Rob Delaney. Okay, right at the Danforth Music Hall. Right. 12 years ago, right. 27 years old. I think he brought him in because he wanted to open for him. Sold out theater. Right. 1200 seats, he wanted to open for him. Yeah. I think Delaney sees, it, this is what happens in my head. I think Delaney sees his tape and goes, I only have women open for me. Right. So at the time, I was one of the only women Jeff knew that was doing this taco. Of course, Heavy was running a place where like, tacos <laughs> are what you get paid in. Yeah. This open mic up in, Lord knows where in Toronto. So I would go all the time. So Heavy, Heavy calls me and he goes, hey, do you want to open for Rob Delaney? And I'm like, what? And I was like, freak out. It was my first big show. I crush. Heavy goes on stage to do the announcements. I've never seen somebody get booed by being like, all right, guys, show's going to start. Boo! <laughs> somebody literally yelled, get this fat goof off the stage. And I was backstage like, oh, can you imagine? All right, guys, show's about to start. Boo. Like, I've never seen that before. But the craziest thing is that they knew already to boo him. Like that the, they I knew was, before he did anything. It was They're insane. like, this is a booable person. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Then he says my name completely wrong. Steffe Toleze. And I'm like, backstage going, what? 1,200 people off the show can't find me online. They go, who's Steffe like Toleze? Steph I'm like, what? He's known me for years. That's not my name. So I go on and I'm like so nervous to do this. Okay, so let me, so then this is what we find out. So some, some comedians find this out. So Heavy used to rap. Uh, okay. So this is, this is the best video you're ever going to see. You got to look really closely. So this is a real video of, of, of Heavy filming one of his, um, <laughs> Oh. That's him getting smoked by that scooter. Let's go back okay. if you didn't notice what that was. Because we need to be you need to be laughing. This is a man not knowing that Heavy's about to come out and film and getting absolutely crunched by the scooter. Crunched. This video, we all lose our mind. I'll tell you what it used to be called. Fat man gets hit by Asian <laughs> Jew. Like it was, it, it's into, I literally had to look up Asian man on scooter hits Jew. That's what the video is called. It is, if you want to just, whenever anyone's in this a bad is mood, so heavy look though, this that, video this, up. He looked at this as like, this is my big opportunity to make it. He doesn't. 
Re- me and Chris Burns told him we're like every day repost this. Yeah, this is the funniest <laughs> thing you're ever gonna do. Get someone to animate it. This is insane. And then he tries that cool at the end. You got to watch the whole thing. I just it's. But wait, what? He was filming, a, I think, a hamburger wrap video, <laughs> and he's supposed to come around the corner and just. <laughs> Have you ever seen a scooter get stopped by a man like that? Like, I think the heavy was unharmed. The scooter was completely dented. It was it was a write off. I was going right there. Could call in AAA. That thing is getting taken to the tow yard. Did heavy eat the Chinese food that got spilled on the ground? Of course he did. <laughs> it's weird that heavy lost the weight, but still just such a fat man. You know. He did. And you know what's worse? I fucked a guy that knew heavy. And he sounded like him. And mm-hmm. the middle of f-ing him, I was like, I was like, oh my God, I'm like, I have to go. He's like, what? I'm like, you sound like this guy from Toronto. And he's like, heavy? And I went, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I, I've gotten that a lot. I'm, I'm friends with his friends. I'm like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not f-ing heavy. He's absurd. Bad. Yeah. Anyways, I thought you'd love so that video. You see, you come in, that's absolutely that hilarious. Video's hilarious. Thank you so much. I, I'm like, I'm really, this I really. This is my was, birthday's in July and it feels like it, you've covered me till July. You're going to go home and rewatch. It's the sound of the scooter hitting the body and like <laughs> knowing that the scooter's injured and not the man. It's it's so <laughs> fucking funny. Oh, I love that video. Okay, Anytime so, in that mood. So you came, you just happened to be walking by the, the comedy store. Yeah, and when- I hear someone yell and he's ripping heavy in half. And I was like, I've never ran in quicker in my life. I filmed most of it. Yeah. Send it to a bunch of people in Toronto. Oh, I'm very, thank you. Oh, 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 lighting up group threads across Toronto that night. People were losing their minds. I'm honored it's a best case scenario. It is. Well, he f***ed the ring situation. You guys can go back at, what was the episode called? And he gets engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so people at my shows, I was trying to explain to him, like people, because he keeps showing up at my shows now. He's like, you're just kidding. You're mad at me, right? And I'm like, I, like you're dead I'm, to me. Like, I'm, I'm you pissed. run my engagement. You said I gained weight, and that's why the ring didn't fit. He said that you gained weight. Yeah, he said, oh, we measured a while ago. Like, a man named Heavy had the absolute gall no, to I comment on somebody's. No, I was like, listen, you fat. My story now, like, I wish I had a recorder, but like, I was in Vegas. And I was like, listen, you fat. When he called me fat, I was like, it's done. Like, I started yeah, t- no, typing no, in no, all no, caps. No, 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 well, no. Also, was like, he said that, and then he also said, I'm sorry. When I was like the ring doesn't fit dude what the fuck? like i paid you to do this this mm-hmm. is like i trust you i paid you he goes i'm sorry your first engagement didn't go exactly perfectly the way you wanted it to i'm like you're That's trying to gaslight life? me and then he goes this happens like <laughs> once a year engagement? I, go, I know whoa. it's insane whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then he's like wait there was a video i'm like yeah heavy people they videotape their engagements to post online i don't have one because it's going i have no hmm? moment because it goes like this and, and literally then say- the whole video is just me like red going fuck heavy like, I'm so mad. I'm like, heavy. My parents are like, whoa. Everyone's like, Annie, are you okay? My dad was like, you need to forgive heavy. I'm like, I'm not forgiving oh that my bad God. No, he, you need to do a, re- you need to do a re-engagement. <laughs> Who cares? At this point, we must. No, at this point. We'll I, have heavy throw Honestly, it. the story of heavy, the story of heavy and destroying him just every time to his face, every time you see him, is worth more than a video. Of he's, one of the, he's one of those people, though, that like, you can bluntly be like, it's done. And he doesn't get it. Me and Robbie Hoffman. You had Robbie Hoffman on here. She's like that. We got in a huge fight a couple years ago. I was like, really? we're done. She's like, no. I go, what do you mean, no? <laughs> I go, it's over. I, I don't like you anymore. She goes, nah. She goes up two days later to my house. Knock on the door. She goes, hey, come and sit on my couch. You go, you it's like the crazy? banshees of whatever. It's crazy. She's crazy. I was like, uh, and now we're still friends. I can't She just didn't her. allow it. Yeah. I, whenever I've been friend dumped in comedy, which is really only once, uh, full blocking. Oh yeah, full block. Out of nowhere, I was like fully blocked. I was like, oh. I want to know who the person is you hate. Do you talk about them openly? You, I don't think you would know her. Okay. Um, she's more of like an actress now, but she is, she used to be married to a guy who's married to a pretty cool comic now. Oh. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you all about it. But she, what I was going to tell you, she was on my, okay, we did girl, I'll just give this hint. We did girl code together, but it's no one cool on girl code guys. Okay. It's none of the cool girl code girls. Okay. Oh, you know who my girls God. are. Um, Never seen girl don't code. talk shit on my, my Jesse man. Don't you talk shit on my Carly. Okay. It's not my girls. It's not Nicole Bauer. Um, okay. There's just one name you didn't say. I didn't watch the show, so I can't relate and to this Nicole Bayer. I just said Nicole. Okay. I was like, who's Bauer? Anyway, I know, I said the wrong thing. Like... Uh, it's not Aquafina. <laughs> it's a girl you've never I seen me post next to. you guys were all in that show. Shit. Yeah. It was, I was in Canada, because you guys, it was MTV, right? Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah it, was a, it was cute, but it was... Nora, I was just talking about this, Nora, who's Aquafina. Yeah. She did this like cute interview. I have not. Okay. So she does this interview where she's like, cause she, we were just doing girl code. And then all of a sudden she was doing 
Ocean's Eight with like Sandra Bullock. Like she was oh, literally just she was like a rapper oh, wow. and did girl code. And then all of a sudden we were just like broke in Brooklyn, like, oh, and then all of a sudden she's like, I'm in Ocean's Eight. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, yeah, this is incredible. Nice. Yeah. So I was talking to her, she was like having a anxiety because she was going to like the first cast party with Rihanna, Kate Blanchett. Oh shit. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Like it's like icons. And she's like, I'm just like so nervous. And then I was like telling her about imposter syndrome and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then she did an interview and she was like, oh, my friend Annie Letterman told me about imposter syndrome. And I was like, that's so cool. And then literally the last time I DM with her all the time. Last time I talked to her was that conversation. I just like let her be free. Go be rich. And famous. I want you back, Aquafina. Coming for you. Come back. We we Rain's all sorted. It's all okay, done. Okay, so this girl, yeah. was. we did Girl Code. We were flying yes. in. We both were coming in from LA. They put us at the same hotel. Now, the hotel's right by where we're recording. I know for a fact that it's the elevator takes a long time. I'm always like a minute to spare kind of person. I show up like with a minute. Okay. Am I going to be late or early? Who knows? It Rushing depends on traffic. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Nightmare. I like to be <laughs> always like running. Yeah, every time I go to the airport, I say it's like I'm like chasing a lover. I'm like, um, how do you live like that? That's I'm getting I'm anxiety. It's adrenaline. This. I mean, that's horrendous. The, the airport. I'm there nine hours early for no reason. <laughs> Picking my ass, going, "Why am I here? I could have been sleeping." Well, that's how he is, and he hates the airport. I actually enjoy the airport because it's a fun rush. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have fun. I'm, I'm like, "Well, are we gonna make it?" It's great. It's uh -huh. like the end of a movie every time I'm. And then, do you get missing your show and getting the whole anxiety and I freaking don't, out? Well, anytime I've ever missed a flight, it's always been okay. Nothing. Well. Not always. No, okay, Actually, okay, there okay. was a time where I missed my first show and then I fell asleep. It was my first um, headlining show. And then when I was leaving, I actually passed out. My phone died. Mm -hmm. like Candy Crush and I missed my flight out too. Wow. That was rough. That's Didn't horrendous. headline again for a while. Didn't headline again for a while. Yeah. I think that yeah, got around. Yeah. yeah, yeah wasn't yeah, ready yeah, to yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well. I believe in divine timing. I'm a little bit okay. better. I get there a little bit earlier now. Barely. <laughs> no, it's none of your business. He wonders why I hate the airport. The airport is a choice. You decide whether you like it or you don't. A choice. You have That's, no control. You wonder why. You have no control. Do you sit in a lounge when you get there early? Uh, yo, yeah. I'm, I'm real good buddies with the United guy lounge. Ricky, shout out to Ricky. He, uh, oh, he hooks me up. Really? What's he give you? Oh, when I'm about to leave, he goes, go grab a coffee cup. And I go, all right, buddy. <laughs> a little mimosa on the plane. Oh, yeah. I'm coming in hot. I'm hammered there. I'm well, Ricky, oh, yeah, yeah. you're fired. No. Um, <laughs> you're so cool. It's cool that you do that. He but... follows me on Instagram. He's the best. I didn't oh, see really? a lounge. Did I see a lounge? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Bleep it. Oh, no, no, no. He's Bleep fine. Bleep it, Todd. He's no, fine. I, um, yeah, I like the lounge. I mean, I enjoy the lounge. I don't drink, so it's like, it's, it's basically way, just like sitting somewhere. I'm only drinking. I don't, they don't, they're not covering up the food enough. There's a weird little small glass window. There's flies in and it's, out. I can't be. It's not right. I'm not. I fly American. It's not right with the those lounges. What is, what, do. I've never been to the American lounge. It's not. It's nothing. No food? I think Delta is the one. No, they have food, but it's like you are like, oh, is there egg in that? I've just been sitting out. Oh, I eat yeah, like yeah, a hard yeah. boiled egg a lot there. And it's like they're all kind of stuck together. Oh, it's not. That's your go to one egg. I know. She farts on the plane. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do not fart. <laughs> I'm farting on the planes. We all are. I the fact that you can't hear the fart is the best. You can really just blast yeah, yeah, it yeah. out. I think I think they those seats are just there. It's we're sitting on. Farts. Are you flying first yet? Sometimes I bump. Sometimes up. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm farting even more up there. I got more room. Oh, in first class, it's you just get what you get. And now that I've like a couple, two pilots. Oh, every time I walk off the plane, now I'm like, my I'm oh I'm. Have I'm you met them on the plane and then? No, no, no. One guy I was, used to eyeball the pilot. Oh, I'm all, I'm eyeballing out, but they're all just like older. Well, like the other day, one looked like Leslie Nielsen. I'm like, am I fucking? Oh my god, I don't know if I can say this scary story. Maybe I will. <laughs> say it. Okay, so I met. I'm not gonna say I was. I did a show in Vancouver with Russell Peters, and he has a lot of friends. So I meet this one guy, and he's uh, he tells me he's he works for a organization that's yeah. uh. You know, they habitat for humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say you don't say no to these people. Oh, okay. Yes, so this yes, guy's yes, yes. uh guy. This guy is like what I'm putting out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's being really like, "How are you? What are you doing later on?" I'm like, "He's giving you an offer you can't oh, refuse." I, I, I'm like, "I'm having sex with this man." Yeah. I was like, "I have, I must." This for man. the connections alone. Uh, and then he DM me being like, "Follow me back," and I didn't, and now I'm scared. 
Because you didn't fall back? Didn't fall Did back you hook up with him? No. <laughs> God, he was like 75 and he was scary as hell. But the, I like that I, he's still on Instagram. He's still getting it. I, I almost want to follow to see what he's got in there, but I was like, this man oh, is, is he so private? scary. private? It's so annoying. He's private. Come on, guys. Just What is and the then private? Going, and then you go on and then you hit it and then they accept you and it's like, it is just like flowers and dogs. Yeah, I'm like, and I don't, like, yeah why, why would is you? Why private? Yeah, nobody cares. What's private about no, this? No, this psychopath in Sacramento this weekend tried to fuck me. He was like, Tinder, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm a fan of yours. And I was like, well, you didn't come to my show, so you're not that big a fan. And then now his Instagram is like, follow me. And I'm like, send me your photo. I'm never going to follow you. You're like, yeah, like, I don't not really that look like... I'm like, if that's your face, keep your fucking thing open. Yeah. But then he got weird and I was like, we're over it. There, it's, there, it's just a weird power dynamic. It's not, they shouldn't be able to overpower us. What are you She's doing, little really girl? Really trying to creep. Me okay, so it. we're girl code. Okay, so I'm. Yes, I'm going to. I'm, I'm I know the hotel. <laughs> I know that the that the elevator takes a long time. Okay, so I'm like, I would actually rather be on a lower floor, but I'm just. We're in line. This is just information I know. So we're like in line. I forgot my iPad on the plane, and at this point, I'm broke. My iPad's like my computer. It's like I need it. You mm -hmm. know, I'm like, fuck. So I'm on the phone with my dad, and I'm just like upset. I'm like, fuck my fucking iPad. My dad's like, you'll be fine. He's like trying to talk me down from being a psycho in, in line or whatever. But I'm like, I'm just like upset. And I turn around and this girl is behind me and she goes. <laughs> and I've known her so long. Right? That she goes, reaction. She goes, <laughs> and I'm like gripping. Like she's just like taking joy in my suffering. Uh. And I'm ripping my fist. Right. And I look, look back and I look back again and she goes. <laughs> And I oh. go, and this is, I've known her. I did mics with her for years. She blocked me at one point because she was dating this boring guy. And oh. on, I made a, I made a post that said, it was like Valentine's Day. I goes, I go, Hey, to all my like happily like dating friends. Like, I hope you're having fun. Like, you know, with love and companionship while we're out here having fun, bitches. Like it's just some like, stupid obviously thing. stupid, yeah, dumb yeah, joke yeah, yeah. about like being single. And then she wrote like, wow, cool. Like took it personally, like a psychopath. And then my friend, Mike Racine under it wrote, why don't you go suck this boring guy's boring dick? Okay. This isn't for you. Why don't you go suck this yeah. boring, right? And I went, ha ha ha, under what she wrote. Under what he wrote. Yeah. She blocked me, not him. She blocked me. Why would you block me? Also, how do you take that so it's personally? It's nothing. It's nothing. I can't believe you didn't hit her. That. So then, okay, wait. <laughs> I must say. So that was years ago. She blocked me. So then I would see her at mics and stuff and I go, oh, do you want to like, you're just going to be weird? Like I wasn't friends with her or anything. Mm -hmm. It was just like friendly. We're all doing these things. Like whenever someone's like a thing with you, you're like, we're all having fun. Like yeah, why is there, is a, I don't want to have like someone stomping around me. Yeah. She's like, oh. And I go, what is your problem? What is your issue? Why are you blocking me and shit? And she's like, um, well, you always leave open mics when I go on stage. I go, I'm not even friends with you. I go, I don't know. I'm, this is my career. I'm going to the next mic. Like, don't I don't anybody. notice if you're here. Yeah, what the hell? If you want me to watch your set, go sit and watch my set. I don't, what, that's crazy. Like, it's insane, you're, but whatever. So she just always sucked. She was always a problem. <laughs> so she does the, <laughs> and this is seven years of knowing her, right? Mm. And I just go and I go, you know what? I go, I'm done with you. I will never even try with you anymore. You are one of the stupidest I've ever met in my life. I can't fucking stand you. You're unpleasant. You're unfunny. Nobody likes you and you're one of the worst oh. people I've ever met in my life because she's one of those people that like she was staying with my friend and my friend had a railroad apartment she was staying there for free my friend was being nice to her whatever so my friend her her room with her husband they were like sleeping and this girl couldn't find her jacket she was like going on a flight to leave she couldn't find her jacket so she's storming in and out and she's like waking them like where's my jacket like waking them up to find her jacket it's like she's a stupid like that like do you know what I mean like oh my God. her problem's everyone's problem oh, yeah, she's just yeah, a nightmare yeah, yeah, yeah. It's her day, no one else's day. So I just was like, you're a dumb bitch. That sounds like something you would do, though. It is not. Wake someone up. Looking for your jacket? I would not. <laughs> I would wake you up. You're mine, and I'm yours. Yeah, if you're saying someone's house, lie down, Susan. I'm getting. You don't wake okay. someone up that's like helping you. In no. Life. In the middle of the night, you go. Get your jacket. And you just get your jacket next time. You just go. Yeah, that's you, it. Get them to send it. it. It was mentally ill. I would not do that. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> you are now single. <laughs> Guys, I'm available to my fans yeah <laughs> hey take mine too i'd love a ginger guy that killed his dog yeah 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 um <laughs> but anyway so i said that to her right and then you'd think after someone called you the worst and she's smirking the whole time i'm doing it like i'm literally smirking. like yeah i'm like i i'm like it's taking everything in my power to not knock you out is your dad still on the phone too he's like my dad he's like oh boy <laughs> yeah. oh, this is like with heavy too like hey Andy, you gotta forgive them <laughs> he knows but i'm like i'm gonna kill this bitch so we go up 
we were both at the same time we're and different people that are checking us in. And I'm having a laugh with the lady. We're having a good time. Mm -hmm. She puts me on the ninth floor. This girl next to me, they go, you're, here's your, it, your room. It's the second floor. She goes, no, it's not. And the guy, the guy goes, or the woman goes, oh, that's just like the only one. And she goes, I'm not going to be on the second floor. And I'm like, and I'm watching her be the worst person, okay? And the person's going, oh, ma'am, like, this is the only floor we have. And she goes, I won't be able to sleep. I'll hear the noise. It's like, we're in New York City, bitch. There's noise. Yeah. Like, and she's like, bite earplugs, you idiot. And she's like, I will not. And she's screaming at this person, like, you better change it. And I'm right after you've been called the worst person in the world, wouldn't you want to act like the best person yeah. in the world? Have a moment of being like, mm, they like me. I mean, just couldn't help herself. Worst oh person in the world. Oh, my God. And in my head, I would have loved the second floor because it gets me there faster. I don't have to wait yeah, for the second yeah. thing. But I just go, oh, I guess I'll see you down there. I'm going up to the ninth floor. I just like left her and never talked to her again. So then years later, my friend has a softball team out here. My friend's husband's on a softball team. And I go to hang out with them and watch the game. And I see a girl coming. I don't like see the face. I just see her punch and kick a dog. Okay. Looks up. It's her. I go, of course it's you. Oh, punched and kicked punched, a dog. Punched and kicked a dog. Did a. Whose dog? It was her like roommate's dog or her boyfriend or something. It was someone she lived with his dog. <laughs> Let's report her to animal services right now. I'll do it. I'll I'm sure the it. dog's dead. That was a while ago. But I'll tell you what it is. But I don't think you'll know her. Oh, my God. Or I was just like, I can't ever talk to you again. You're nothing. I, the the punch of the dog, I'm done now. And <laughs> that is. Listen, if you hadn't gotten there with her yet, you would. Don't worry. No, I, I've seen her stick twice. She's the stupidest bitch. Oh, my God. Yeah. Punched and kicked the dog. And everyone, and then like on well, set, what else she would have do? hard outs from Girl Code and show up two hours late. It's like the makeup people, like you're putting everyone in, like everyone, you're ruining everyone's job by being showing up that late. And then they beat a dog. And then you beat a dog. Look, I, I made comments about my dog. I've never hit my dog. No, of course. I'm obsessed with my dog. Of course. No, she I eat her Susan. pussy for her. I love her so much. Susan's so cute. Okay. She's got an app. Both have Audis. <laughs> they do. Do you see hers? Audis. She's a huge pussy. No, honestly, oh. it's massive. It's crazy. No, I was just telling about my... it, she's like, honestly, they wanted a surgery when she was so young. It was so big. <laughs> I swear to God, six thousand dollars. You're like, mommy, like puppy. No, that's literally. <laughs> Is that the that's joke? Like, that's what I say that. I go, like mother, like daughter. And people get so mad at me. I'm like, I'll get what I, I'm like, I'll get what she's having. And the whole crowd's like, ew. <laughs> disgusting thing. Oh boy, oh boy, do I love Lucy, you guys. I got so, so, so mad at my Todd for not ordering this for me for so long. Oh, I love that Lucy, Lucy flavor. Lucy is so good and juicy and delicious, and it gives you a little kick. A little kick in the behind. In the behind. And the front. Because if you're the life of the party, you don't want to leave to go get your nicotine fix. Lucy Breakers goes wherever you do with pouches that you can use anywhere. That's what I love. The pouches are so cute. They come in a little cylinder. It's fun. You look cool. You can throw it in your back pocket and look like you got something cool going on. You just pull it out of your pocket like this and you go, oh, let Give me, me take out my breakers. It breaks to it pops in your mouth. It's so and it cute. it keeps you moist and hydrated because a lot of times you put something in your mouth that gets dry and your mouth is dry. I always open the top part. She always opens the top part. That's for the discarded ones. Open for me, my oh, love. It is easy to really open. Easy. I just need a boy. Well, she, she's a girl. She's a goal. Oh. No. <laughs> See that little pop of smoke? These are great. So you just you put it in there. Down. The Put juice pop. Soak it, it soaks it up. So and then you, you park it. So you don't use all your spit. You can bring it with you. You don't have to smell bad, okay? Those other products make you smell bad. You need a lighter. You need other things involved. This is just... Really easy and beautiful and amazing. You don't and, gotta spit anything out. And I love that that wave of flavor. They just it pops and it's this is Ooh, so delicious. I know this is the, the you, this is the apple it's, cider flavor. It's but delicious. it tastes it's very cinnamony. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, with options like mint, apple ice, and berry citrus, there's something for everyone. But definitely try that one because that's the one. You see, I use these when I'm editing. I'm a very successful editor, so I'm Emmy always award at the winning. Editing. And I'm always editing. I'm always in there. And it's like, what am I going to go outside? What am I going to do this? What am I going to do that? No, I could just pop one of these in my mouth and the nicotine goes straight to my brain. You love when things pop in your mouth, right? Oh, I love that. And I love it when the, he when loves... the it seeps into my brainstem and I am just full of energy and full of uh, And it's it's great. Focus. We love these. We also love the gum. The gum is so good. It's my favorite. Um, and you get to choose your favorite flavor. Even choose your nicotine strength for a totally customized experience. 
Nope. Visit L-U-C-Y dot C-O and use promo code Annie to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's L-U-C-Y dot C-O promo Annie to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Ooh, I love that nicotine. Ooh, I love Lucy. And not just the show, baby. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so, so, so exciting. This is so, 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 ding so, so, dong, so exciting. Ding dong, ding dong. Guess who's here? Is it? Is it the Door thing I ordered? DoorDash, baby. DoorDash. <laughs> it's back to school and things are getting hectic. When you don't have time to drag your toddler with you to the grocery store and watch them sob because you won't buy them candy, turn to DoorDash. Ooh, I like that. With DoorDash grocery delivery, you can get exactly what you want delivered right to your front door and skip the temper tantrums, okay? And we know we don't have a toddler, but I get really upset when Todd won't let me have candy. And let me tell you guys, (laughs) my reptile store just started using DoorDash, so I am ordering crickets i'm ordering mice for all my reptiles straight to my door todd, i don't gotta make that run to the today todd because every day todd's like i gotta go to the i gotta go to I gotta the get store. all these I gotta things go to the reptile store. he got live crickets delivered to our house through doordash and some frozen mice some light bulbs some frozen i mean we're hooked up it's our reptiles are definitely gonna live for 30 plus years now Ooh, they're gonna live long healthy lives you've trusted doordash to bring you nachos when you were drunk at 2 a.m <laughs> and now they're here to help you stock the pantry like a true friend they've seen you through good times and bad so sit back relax and let doordash bring you a head of lettuce that you need for dinner you know, I remember when uh, uh, I used to be in my drinking days, I would have hangovers and I couldn't get out of bed. And DoorDash was there to just help me. They deliver food straight to my house. And, and little uh, wet, wet ones for your booty? And I got to just lay in bed and eat my food. Some little wet wipes for your booty? A little wet wipes for my booty. Well, you know when Todd drinks, he gets a little loose in the bowels. And things start leaking out and it's not a good time. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of downy, uh, some some paper towels to clean it up. We're getting some disinfectant because Todd is leaving puddles of doo doo everywhere. And when Annie's on the road, it's like she doesn't have time to look up all the restaurants and go to all these restaurants. She just orders DoorDash to the hotel. I order DoorDash on the road. I order DoorDash to my house, and I am very excited. It is weird when the DoorDash guy does recognize you. That's weird. You go, please don't tell people where I live. Get fifty percent off your first DoorDash order up to a twenty dollar value when you use code Annie. Annie at checkout. Limited time offer. Terms apply. That's 50% off up to $20. No minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order. When you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code Annie. Don't forget that's code Annie for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Guys, you're going to order it anyway. Just help the show out. Help DoorDash out. Let's hook it up. Use that code. Support the brand, baby. Use that code Annie. It's so relatable to like. 25% 25% of the audience. Yeah, yeah. And then well, the rest of the front like, last night was like, my dog has a big vagina too. And I was like, see? <laughs> Randy just has for a you. tiny, tiny penis. Uh, it's so small. And then it gets stuck outside the shaft and it's a whole thing. No it's way. a whole to do. I don't joke go back about in. it. Yeah, no, no. I, I've and then we have to jerk it off. The you have again? to get like um, lube and kind of. You do? Well, he dog does. Dog lube? Uh-huh. No, just regular lube. H- human lube on the dog? <laughs> I'm shit. There's a fly on me. I am a this pile happened of shit. on this happened on uh on Trash Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm shit. Every time I go on your podcast, I'm I'm poo. I like that. That's your how you take it. I, well, what if not, you're sweet and they you. want your sweet blood? It's not sweet. I got but I got hive. I'm hived up right now. Um, yeah. you jerk the dog back off into the dick. I'm very uh, upset with that's this. a daddy job. Well, now I, I've learned that you just have to pull the hair out of the. The hair, the his hair, hair gets stuck. Is he gets pee hair and it gets him turned dang on. Dang hair. He get no. He's very humpy. He's very randy. It's oh, just yeah, the yeah, sheath yeah, yeah, is yeah. so small. When his boner comes out, it he's yeah, all yeah, deformed. Yeah. One of the balls yeah. never. We have his balls in a jar. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, we got him from the vet. Somebody used to my podcast and gave me a, a human gallbladder. Ooh, a gallstone. Sorry. That's cool. She came on to the podcast. Oh, it was I very like the bizarre. idea of you collecting. Uh, I don't like having the mutter museum. I don't, don't like. I it. opened it up and it was like I'm like, what is it? She's like a gallstone. I was like, was it hers? No. She was a mortician. Oh, that's cool. But I'm like, what do I do with this now? Now I have this, and I have this like, does I she, feel weird throwing it out. Does she know Yoni from Texas? Maybe. Because Yoni from Texas was like, I know a mortician. She's a podcast fan. Oh, probably then. Is she hot? She's pretty, yeah. She's yeah. a porn. Yeah. 
That's got to be the same one, right? It's got. There's no way. There's, there's so many like porn stars and like people with just like weird, gross jobs, like a mortician. Just love. They comedy. love. They do. <laughs> it's porn all orbiting. People, I, I'm friends with so many porn stars now because straight Isn't up, it's so fun to be friends with them too. I love it. People yeah. get mad at me like, "What? This is your comedy now, Steph?" I'm like. This has always been my comedy. Now it's yeah. the hot women doing it with me. Yeah. Yeah. I've always been Those disgusting. Those girls are so cute. They're so. I love them. They're so sweet. They get so. Here's also too about like working with people who like perform. What are their names so we can like shout them Susie, out? Susie, Stella, uh, Stellar, and um, Sydney Summers. Okay. They're very cute. They're so fucking cute. Precious. They're I so I just don't hot. know them that well. That's the only reason I They're know so them. funny. They're yeah. so. And they get so into it. Like when you were. I, I, I did this thing with a wrestler too. When you work with people who perform, they like they love a collab. They're like, okay, yeah. so I say this, and then like we did a couple of takes, and I was like, a couple takes are fine. Like, you sure that was good? Should we tried a different way. I'm like, it's fine. You yeah. guys are both perfect in every single way. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it's so funny. I also work with porn stars because they're so like nude. Yeah. Like, I come in, like, okay, and they're like, oh, look at my bush, look at my bush. Ah! I'm like, my bush is gonna stay inside. But uh, I'm I glad love you guys can... looking at hot chicks. Like, if there's like a porn star in the front row, I'm like, I'm theirs for the whole oh, yeah, set. I'm like, I'm yours. Come to the I store. know it's so cute. I noticed, and they always get up front, and they're just yeah, like yeah, little yeah. sluts. They they're little so sluts. cute. Yeah, it's great. They love it. And I'm so like not a porn. I would never. You will never catch me. I mean, you've seen my tits have been online, but <laughs> well, now but I, I showed I showed her mine, and now mine might be. I love it. Your app's dropping this week. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm dropping it up. I got to get that out there. Got to get the hit out there. Got to get the views. Oh my God, we're going to have- I need those views. <laughs> we're I dropping can... the same week. Are we? Should I wait then? No, no, maybe no, I'll no, wait. no, 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 no. Don't wait. Okay. No, let's we'll... blast it out. Okay, we'll blast it. You like it. this? You're also going to like this. Double yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah. Watch we'll, we'll blast, Steph blast. Infection. Thank you. Um. All right. So we've talked- We talked about- We talked about who- Do we want to talk about the guy this weekend? The no. sex this weekend? No. Too shy. I like Does he him. live here or there? No, he doesn't live here. He lives. You love a slight long distance, like not I too don't. long a flight. You like a light flight. I I would like to date somebody in Los Angeles. I just I just really like this man. And now like this this person like we can't date because it's not it's not that. But it's like now that I've met a nice yeah. man, I'm like okay. It gives me the glimmer of hope. I'm like okay. There but, might be okay. Out why there. can't you? Why can't it be him? He doesn't ever. He will never oh. move here. Yeah, yeah. He won't move to LA. No. People that think LA sucks are such losers. I'm not gonna lie to you, San Fran was amazing. This weekend yeah, I was but like you wanna live there? I think I could live there. It's so nice. The hills, everyone's ass like is it. fucking jacked. You're either a lesbian See? or Asian. He's Asian. He's got no excuse. Well, then <laughs> it's no, so San Francisco nice. is beautiful. It's so cute. I love the crime. I love that you could just get broken into at any time. I've not I was I lying. asked everyone, I go, I go, who's had their cars broken into? Everyone cheered. Everyone in San Francisco has, a, a, and one girl goes, I go, what do they take? She goes, a pillow and a blanket. I'm like, why would you leave the most tempting thing for a homeless person to steal? Le- <laughs> what did you Literally, have, like just yeah. food, like a home cooked meal yeah, for them yeah, and yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah, they had like it's a takeout container. Job yeah, 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 three one dollar bills. <laughs> it's um, like so fucked sitting up. Sitting there. Yeah, no, no that was fine. Cute. And now Where I'm else like, like, Portland? Yeah, Portland, everyone stinks in Portland. They're so There's a much. stink out there. There's a musk. Well, also, I always feel like with in Portland, it was like, the most white people with Black Lives Matter yeah, posters it's, you've ever seen. I do like Portland. No, I, I like that Portland. That is cool, though, guys. I can't wait to come. Yeah. <laughs> love it there. I'm no, s- the years I was in nice. I mean, Vancouver. It's I very there's a lot of pretty, hot guys too. But you're used to living in a pretty place, too. I'm used Canada to being so Canadian. Gorgeous. That's what yeah. happens. I'm, I'm Your guys' now. McDonald's are very healthy. Or why are McDonald's? Yeah. We were in Toronto, and we're like, oh, my God. There were like all these healthy options at McDonald's. The salads. But then there we was a fight. A... Remember the fight that I oh, hosted? Oh, Todd a... <laughs> witnessed a fight and he filmed it and it was like so American and nobody else was filming it. People were just trying to stop the fight and help and Todd was just like Again? filming it. Yeah, yeah. He was like, you f***ing goof. He's like, you're a goof. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> that's so Canadian. Yeah, he like, he's like, you were born with a tutu on. And the guy got so <laughs> mad and started swinging at him. I have the whole thing. And what he... area was this? Um, just downtown Toronto. Wherever they put like us right... up, we did the comedy bar. Oh yeah, no, I'm like, was it uh, Spadina and Queen? I know where McDonald's is. Know. Don't don't. It don't was tend next to, to a. It was, like right, like down it was down near down like down. a shopping area. Like, okay. With like H and M's and shit. I don't know. Oh, Eaton Center. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. There was okay. a good dumpling place next to the. I, I just don't have any memory. Well, yeah, you know how we go everywhere. Well, you remember the me and the fly on your podcast. <laughs> you don't remember your travel. Well, I remember <laughs> seeing you and a fly buzzing, and yeah, I remember yeah, your yeah. reaction. Yeah, because I, I have a fly problem. It's so you're very. Thing. You don't have a fly problem. No, I have flies. <laughs> There's no, 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 but but I don't think that you have more flies around you than the rest of the world. But I no, but I have an, an issue with flies. 
I broke my window once trying to kill flies with my bare hand. $80. Even anger, no, even anger management problem. It's mostly directly towards flies. I don't know. <laughs> Very bizarre. Peter comes to you for that. They're like, she's really mean to she's flies. She's really mean to flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm mean. I Are you nice them. to Jeff Goldblum if he's on? <laughs> you just he come and just me. Swap, slap him across the face. I wonder if people have swatted him before as a no. joke. No. I think he's great, but maybe there's something going on. He's hot. I feel him. He finally got married. I was like, when he wasn't married for so long, I was, I like when men aren't married for so long and you start to like really be Wonder. like, what's happening? Yeah. Didn't Clooney meet somebody late in life? Someone told me that too. Cause I was like, to my friend, I'm like, I'm never getting married. He's like, you could be like George Clooney and then years from now you'll find your soulmate. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. You don't want to get married? I do, but I, I, I'm, I've lost hope. <laughs> I've, I've lost it so bad. You don't bad. know that you can just have everything you want? No. You are, there's something in you that's attracting like mentally crazy people. I'm attracting you're psychopath. But also, hooking up with your friends is is no truly and it's insane. My, it's my fault. My ex boyfriend is true psychopath. I literally right, you're attracting I, something's happening. I'm, I'm attracting something, and it's like this other fan. I, uh, it's something's up. I'm attracting weirdness. But I feel like you could have, and maybe this does. This is where it lands with the crazy guys. You could have just like a cool, calm Todd, like because you're you're the thing that's crazy, right? It's like that's what Todd's so funny and cool, but he's not crazy. It's like. I dated guys that are funny and crazy, and you're like, there, there can't be too many. Todd, do you have friends? Like, what is going on? He has family no members. Friends. That's I also understand. the thing. Is no friends. I made him believe all what the his heck? friends. He's abused. No family. Uh, no, we have I have family? A, a reptile guy. If you want to. Oh my god, we do have some reptile guys. Here's the thing. I'm actually going to start. I'm going to start. What the f is that? I have some. Steph? You show me Steph? one photo. I'm picturing literally the comic book guy store from the, from the Simpsons. <laughs> show me Max. I don't know Max is her type. Maybe, um, what's his name? Uh, the what? Canadian guy, but he's like. Reptile guys to me are just covered in skin tags. That's what I'm picturing. No, they're covered in tattoos. They like tattoos. They're like, okay, let me see Max. Addicts. Can I see Max? Max yeah, is yeah. the cutest. How but he only has fish right now, so I wouldn't call him a reptile guy. How old is Max? Yeah, how old let's is Max? Let's start with that. Let's, let's do the age thing. Car, Why is your okay, phone well, in the car? <laughs> What's his like, Instagram? This is the story of her life. What's... She's like, I'm trying to meet I've this guy and his phone's in the car. <laughs> uh, uh, it's so naughty. He just realizes Max will think I'm repulsive. Wait, what is no. Max's? What's his Instagram? Is it open? No, you need the comedy okay, fan okay. guy. The guy no, that no. follows me. Oh, Adam Wickens? He's, a, he was a He's big, but it's so body funny. Builder. Adam Wickens, he was a bodybuilder. Look up Adam Wickens. No, no, no. I can't do veins. He looks now a little bit. No, no. I can't do veins. <laughs> No, oh, he kind me. of reminds me of your crazy ex a little bit. Oh, the new, ew. Adam, what was it? How you spell it? R but he's uh, cool. W Not like vibes. Why? W I C K E X. Okay, okay. I don't oh, want to wow. like, it's not, it's not, yeah, but it's, he's cool. Okay. It's not his look, but it's his. Yeah, no, his, I don't know about He's that. not like, I, no, he's, I don't it, know how to like explain it because it's like, he's not like a. No, he's cute. I'm not he's saying not like a, yeah. it's just I, I, I. You know what? Now that I'm seeing a man kiss a lizard, it's kind of grossing me I out. Say. Like that's I. I don't know. It's, it's a kissing a lizard. I don't know. Are lizards clean? Oh, Can cute. you get stuff from lizards? You I said can't be your fans. No, but I. I've never connected with this person. He's he's like huge. This is his lowest following. Is on here. He's like huge on YouTube. Oh, okay. And I he's like, want, we watch his stuff someone... like every day. I, these people are just in my life now because we like watch their stuff all day. I don't day. want someone who does social media though. Okay. You know what I mean? I want like a, you know, just a normal guy. The thing with Todd Regular that's sad guy. is he does have social media, but it's like, does he? With the amount of followers Do you kiss your reptiles? Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. He Annie kisses inside them. Me. Annie kisses them. He puts mice in, inside me and then they snatch it No, he doesn't stop. I don't. I'm going to believe this weirdness. <laughs> that's how he warms them are. up. They're frozen. He puts them inside me. He just leaves them there. They come out they, cold. They're they defrost. Sure. <laughs> Wait, you kiss he them on the head? He puts them alive. I freeze them. Yeah. Annie, Annie kisses them. Freeze dry them. I do kiss, kiss them. them. Yeah, by yeah. clean. You clean. So you kiss them and then you have to go clean your lips. Oh. She, you get, get no, you don't. Susan, come here. The little blue I, think, I don't do lots of kisses. She gets a, the blue tongue. She I'm gets scared. The blue Here's tongue. the thing. I'm still scared of them. <laughs> I haven't warmed up to them yet. Do they warm up to humans is my question. They do. They, yeah. they but they do? but what like I've getting... heard from every reptile video that he leaves on constantly is that it's not, they're not really sure that it's like love they're feeling for you or if it's just they want food from you. Yeah. They're not warm blooded. They're cold blooded. <laughs> Were you, there when Paul Abdul? What? Were you there when Paula Abdul came to the comedy store? No. I just said cold blood. I was thinking of cold hearted snake. Oh. <laughs> I miss every cool celeb. I, I've only seen what's his name, and you were talking to Quentin? him the one night. Yes. Hmm. That's it. <laughs> we have a witness. Yeah. Okay, good. Was I talking or was he talking? 
I, I love a little bit of both. I oh, do yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, well, I, Adam and I was talking to him, and I was like, Adam, too much time. Yeah, you like, guys I was are like, both. It was like I felt like I was on The Bachelor, like where it's like, uh, it's my time yeah, yeah, to yeah. talk. No, it, this is a rose ceremony. I'm gonna need you to move aside. <laughs> that's but, what happens when a, a big celeb comes. Everyone's like up their ass. I'm like, what am I supposed to? No, I literally go like this. I wait. This was like the third time I met him. I was like, when he came in, I was like, oh my, Quentin Tarantino's here, and we're like, oh my god, like because I get so starstruck, and I will give it to anyone. Like I do not act too cool for them but i feel like once they're at the comedy store i'm equal ground like they know that i'm yeah, a yeah, thing yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. they're coming we per- we're at work we're performing it's not like we're like their audience at that moment Curious. they're ours but i he he wanted weed and and he like performs it's he like hilarious. tells stories and everyone's like listening to him and stuff and there were so many open micers there were people just with cameras with flashes on in his face while That's he was talking so annoying and he was fine with it i couldn't believe it i was like guys be cool well we he was he was half in the bag no he, he was actually fun. he was all the way in the bag he no, was, in, he the was bag. in the bag. bag was zipped up and he was head let's to the just more. say he was being pickled he in that was, bag oh that bag was he's selling that in artisanal fair on the weekend because those things are ready to be consumed he was yeah i was like this guy is drunk because jack white phone? was there last week apparently show her show her max Oh, yeah, yeah. Jack White was there last week, and everybody was I all chiseled. I don't know my end with Jack White though. I need to have like a thing. Oh yeah, I yeah. have a moment with him because I don't want to like you go crazy. This is what I learned from someone. It might have, I, did Lisa say this to me? Someone said this where they were like, they were like, you when you go up to a celebrity, you have to be like, what am I giving you? Like you can't just take okay. from us. They're busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's so the, cute. The fact from, that you're uh, laughing at this man's photo no, is, is so scary. We love Max. From a year ago is the last thing. What the hell is this? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't show this. <laughs> no, I no, cannot I must. show you. Also, how old, Max? How old are you? No, how old is he? Last year were you 12? Oh, no, no. no we can't I be doing this. Show you this. <laughs> no, we can't. Max, fresh pick. Fresh he looks like he's been working out. Is Max 20 years old? Is he 20? Can no, we're not doing Max? this. <laughs> no, I like older. He was like, "Thanks for the shout out." Really? Okay, I'm gonna find you someone. I like, I like. Yeah, I showed, showed you one guy. I like an older man. Yeah, I like a distinguished older man. He wasn't that much older than us. We're getting that guy. That the guy showed you was ten years older beer? than us. Yeah. I guess I don't count that that much just because I'm 11 years no, older than him. Know, yeah. Because I'm 11 years older than him, I'd be like, that's not all the time. <laughs> I'm oh, it's, it's blink of the eye. Old. It's a blink of the eye. I forget you're 11 years old. So I'm less of a pedophile. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 11. That's like, oh, it's like. A, that's why Max is 12 then, for fuck's sake. There's no way. Max, I can't. Max, you <laughs> lost a good one. You lost a good one, okay? <laughs> if you had a better Instagram, we could hook something up. <laughs> you blew it, okay? We'll see. Um, yeah, that's I'll really. Stalking. You might have been taking his virginity after I'm looking at that picture. Oh Max, have God. you had sex before? <laughs> I had to ask him some questions. I'm like, do you live with your parents? Like, I'm always like, Max, what's going on with you? We have bets taken out on you. Oh God. Um, he's cool though, but what we're no, it's not for her. She needs a. What do you old? like? What do you like about an older guy? Like established? Yeah, like I like just a man who's yeah, not screwing around. I don't want no games. I'm sick of games. I'm I feel like the tired. younger ones are better for it. The no older games? ones, games are so good. Unless they're divorced. No, I don't want to divorce you either. Well, I don't mind. Actually, I'll do divorced. The pickiest woman in the world. She's like, I can't find a guy. And yeah. it's your, it's 100% your fault. How dare I? I should be no, st- that's not taking true. a also, lizard at this that, point. How dare you is not. No, no, no. I, no, you I should just, have exactly well, your I standards. Think, I think my now, because I've been over so many times, I'm so fucking picky now. Right. Before, I was like, whatever. Now, I'm like, I get a red flag. Like, like no, the you smallest know what it thing is. now. No, but red flags are good. That's your intuition. And I think that like, like before Todd, I had a rule where I was like, I'm only dating guys that like have nice cars and, and own a house yeah. because I have dated so many guys where I end up like, you know, mm-hmm. paying for everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> then I met Todd and he had literally the shittiest car I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. He was complaining he couldn't get on Raya. I'm like, <laughs> oh, we have something in common. <laughs> if you saw his car and he was on Raya, you would burn. You would find Raya's headquarters. I'm getting close. <laughs> we should storm the mound. Yeah, I got two people Let's from Boy Island. Three, three people on Boy Island to give me the friend pass. I still can't get on since I saw you last. I- I'm losing it now. Let me just. I would, it. I would rep you, but I've been off it so long. You can use mine. Why don't? What I think if I already have. Just... I think I think because you're in my contacts. I think when it says friends that have numbers that they link it, I, I swear that I sent it to you. We could just use my Raya, but your link it to your pictures. They'd get so mad at us yeah, eventually. Yeah. They'd be so mad at me. They're like, we try to keep her out of here. We don't want her in here. We don't want this filth on the app. We know what she does. You'd be doing your clips. Oh, yeah. I'm just tagging Ryan them too. 
Oh my god, yeah. I hate mine. That. I wasn't right for Raya because mine were, I was like trying to be funny and clever and oh, it's yeah, like yeah. not what it's for. They're like, show your tits. Oh, and that, I wanted to what, always show that <laughs> I yeah, had I'm boobs, not getting on it. This is me. But I always wanted to like show, like I always made sure I looked really flat. Like I didn't want any, I, the worst is when you go on like an internet date and they're like, like you can see like a disappointment. Ew, you have to always that. make it like also, you're better when you're there's, there's ways of looking at the tits without being so. They so can't well, help like themselves. It's, they're it's animals. Sometimes it's psychotic. They're sick. There's one comic. I don't think you know him. He's Canadian. You you don't know him. He is so. I'm wait. I'm, the next time I'm going to say something, I'm going to go. All right, buddy. You have taken a long enough look. <laughs> like he literally does. And he was like, "Hey, how are you? It's, how you doing? Every time, doing good." <laughs> and he like his head goes down. Don't every use time the I see you, just the eyes. Every time I see you, you're you're being forced into a hug with a man you don't like. Oh, and I'm yeah, seeing yeah, your yeah. face. Yeah. And you're going like. You're like making the face to me, and it's so funny. You're always being cornered into People a hug like by a man. People like to hug me. You're, you know what it is? Know you what do is. seem warm and inviting, but you also have strong boundaries, so people mm -hmm. aren't expecting that. Mm -hmm. And then we're in this business That's where you true. kind of have to be nice. Like You can't be like too mean to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. But then deep but down, you're I'm pretty like, good at like I'm nice, and I think no, but you're also being mean to them to their face, but they don't believe that you're being. They, uh, that's the best part. They of don't that, notice, my personality. Yes. People are like laughing. I'm like, no, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, she's funny. I'm like, I will rip your eyes out. You, you know, who I'm mean to now at the store. There's somebody who works in the store who I was uh, trying to date, and it was a long, a very ongoing, very annoying thing for a long time. We went on one date, no kiss. I got pissed off by it. I'm like, give me a smooch. We've been flirting for a year, and I think. And I'm gonna. I'm taking a stab, a stab in the dark here. I think he's f***ing his sister. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm over it now because I, 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 I think, I think there is, and it's so crazy. I sent it to Jessica Michelle. I'm like, am I being nuts? Look at the Instagram, and he's like, Can I see it? Pull it up. I'm like, he's 100. percent No, because it is gross sometimes. We're like, why are no, we doing it's, this? It's, your sister doesn't siblings, need this. By the way, your, going your on. sister doesn't need this type of like encouragement from you. Something's up. There's some siblings where I'm like, something's this is up. not. No, no, something's up. Let me see. So, oh, I'm finding it for you. It's uh I know you're talking about too. I know you did. But I don't like that type of position too. I feel like they come in and they think but they're gonna like also, bang the This is also it was it was a story I saw last week. And I was like, oh, he's on a date with somebody. It switched to just oh. your friend. And oh, Josh what Wolf. the heck? Um Are yeah. you friends with Josh Wolf? Yeah. Sweetie. Um funny. Sweetie. Great guy. Um no. These are not photos you post your sister. And I, so there's a story of him. And I literally saw the story and I was like, oh my God. I'm like, oh, he's on a date. That's kind of embarrassing. I literally just said I liked him. And then I was like, oh, I saw who was tagged in it. And I was like, that ain't a date. And I, and I had to get another girl's opinion. because so I was like. Also, eyes are a little close. Yeah, yeah, eyes are really close. That's, so, yeah. Maybe it runs in the family to hook up with your siblings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, eyes being too close. I, I, Am I, is it crazy? Is it, how insane is it? What is it? It's two scrolls down and it's a loving sister pick again. Something's going Selfie. on. Selfie. I hate this person, by the way. Okay. I'm done. No, I said, why now? You can't. I understand like the type, <laughs> like I get it where it's like a tall kind of like hunky Yeah, tongue, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I. No, it's we're going to find you a nice I'll tell you what, big turn There's a guy that's going to come to the store and you're going to, you might have a, and I'm going to keep you away from him because he's not going to be what you want. Which guy is it? That he's really a hot friend guy. Of... There's a really hot guy that comes in a lot. He's a comic, but he's so bad. I saw him do stand up once, really? and I've never been more turned Would off. Would you by hook up with a, on, this? I I can't. This let's get off this. Let's get off this. Let's get, let's get, let's get <laughs> to come near you. Yeah, no, 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 I no, no, will no, no, not no. allow him to touch no, no, you. He's absolutely not. What was the date like? It was actually good. Was he interesting? It was, uh, yeah. We 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 were like friends, so it was like a nice friend date. That I was like, you know, maybe I was expecting too much. Where'd you go? Um. Dan Sung Sa, it's a really good place in uh, Koreatown, Sixth and Normandy or something like that. You've been there and never been? It's so good. You guys were like sharing noodles? No, no sharing at all. Zero sharing, then long hug goodbye. Did People he pay? Love me long. Yeah, he paid. He paid. And then he went home and sucked his sister's. <laughs> Wait, and then do you think he like called his sister and he's like, oh, I just feel like. I feel like I'm cheating on you. I, are you is this okay? <laughs> It sums up. I mean, they are step siblings, but it's I've never seen siblings that close. I think maybe he's scared because that position he's in is weird if you guys hook up and then don't like each other. And then I'm just like, your sister. <laughs> <laughs> but also, that's crazy. Yeah. That's a not an acceptable amount. No, no, no. That's some game of thrones shit. Yeah. Oh, big time.
But again, some things I watched. Where are they from? Are they from here in America? I don't know, somewhere, yeah. It's so funny you drove to San Francisco. I've done it. It's like, it's, it seems like it's not going to be that far. And then it's two hours too far where you're it's like, It's way too so... far. This, and then my phone wasn't working for half an hour. I can't even call anybody. <laughs> that happened to us. So Did you go mad. the scenic route back? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I had to take the middle. It's the blob the whole way. Then you got that cow stink for a f- yeah. hour and a half. I was, oh, I was speeding. I'm texting. I was fucking <laughs> <laughs> hitting myself with my phone, keep myself awake. It I'm was texting bad. every time I'm in a car. Oh, but- I, I went by a cop, cop too. They didn't stop me. I was like, okay. No, sometimes a cop sees me and I'm like, really? I need to get a cat nap in for here. She's, oh my God, she's actually so cute right now. She's being so cute. She's the cutest. She's, the she's an angel. I know. Um, but what was I going to say about the drive? Oh, Tesla. You got to get a Tesla because Teslas are made for you to text and drive. They beep when the light turns. Like it was beep when the light turns green. Is yours just to run? You go ding. Drive yourself too. Yeah, but you don't. No, no, no. I okay. do. You? you do, and it works. I every time we go on a road trip. Yeah, but it's like yeah. for how long? So how long do you? But you're still like you still have focusing. to kind of like you have to hold the wheel, but oh, hold that's the wheel. it. Thanks, Elon. Okay. I'm still holding the wheel. I know. Like, I know. like Jesus. Yeah, no, because there's full auto drive where it steers for you. But if you don't have your hands on the wheel, it'll kick out a full auto drive. So, But it's like, I don't. Okay. It's so annoying. But then it's the like, regular auto drive is it stops and goes for you. And you put like a set it. And then like if someone's ahead of you, it'll slow down. And okay, okay, so you okay. can just keep your feet off the gas. And they're still figuring great. it out. Okay. But okay. I use it every time though. It's dope. They do your, they score your driving, which is so annoying. <laughs> Every time you drive? Yeah, well, it'll go, beep, like, get over. And it's like, you're not really on the other side of the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small street. Well, I thought you meant they give you, like, a rating, like, out of 10. Today's drive was... <laughs> no, not every day. That's so <laughs> funny. Like, that actually would be cool. I was like, that'd be... That would make me a much better driver. I got a yeah. ticket. I'm getting old. You got a ticket? I never get tickets. Out here? I got a ticket. I was like, there are cops. I literally was like, I'm so shocked to oh, see you. Oh, you taxi driving? I was like, I was, um... I went through a stop sign. I just rolled through it. Yeah, it I did the same bad. thing. I, and I like tried to fight it and the guy came. A full <laughs> video of me rolling it. And I was like, this is not you, it's me. That might have been me. I was like, I know this guy's like in so He's down. Such an him. asshole. He I fight them. Like, Still fight them. I fight everything I get. I, I always no, have. I'm going to I'm going to traffic school. Oh. I'm excited. Oh, the online one? I'm excited. Oh, did you get the comedy one? Because I thought it'd be funny as a joke. There's one that's like an yeah. online comedy one. It's the worst dad jokes on the planet. Yeah, I can't wait. I, You know what I'm going to do? And I've decided this. If, if comedy goes horrendously wrong out of nowhere, I will be a driving. I'll be the person that, at the DMV that has to pass you. No one's getting a license. I am not giving <laughs> anybody in this city. No one can You're drive. not allowed. To, we're not letting Canadians have oh, this let sort me. of power. <laughs> not let a me chance. Behind the wheel. Well, not no, a no chance. one's going to be on the road. Everyone's going to be taking a bus. Are you a citizen here yet? No. We got to get you to be a citizen. <laughs> no, I'm going to be, I'm applying to be a dual. Dual? A I'm dual. not. Oh, I'm a dual. I'm not losing my fucking, you kidding me? Losing my Canadian? No. Never. Do you lose it? If I, if I can give it up and be full American. No. no uh, that's so that. weird to make someone do that. Denounce do that. where you came from. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to keep my dual citizenship. No, you guys have it made, dude. Mm-hmm. Go back there, go pop a, get pregnant here, take it out there, come mm-hmm. back, live that's, your life. I can't believe how they're just like, do you need an abortion? We'll pay for it. Do you need a ride home? We'll pay for it. They're so nice to <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They're well, like, we really support your abortions. My sister is getting a ba- having a baby very soon. She told yeah, me yesterday yeah, so she went. Instead of an abortion. <laughs> she, she, well, she said that the, her doctor was like massaging her pussy with her thumb <laughs> today. I was like, what? She think I went in and she's like, she has too tight in there. So she put her thumb in and was like, kneading? Like, kneading it. Like, I was like, what? I'm like, is that an American thing too? Or can you doctor so nice? Is that like, something she could say to like, the husband, like, yeah. So now her husband has to come in and watch and show her how to do it. This is like that sex cult that Nicole Amy did the fingering cult. Did you see that? Cult. You don't know about Nicole Amy's fingering cult? No. The Ohm Academy. You don't know about this? No. It's like a mass. It was like a fingering. Nicole Amy would go, and she talked about this publicly, right? I have no idea. Yes, she did. There's no way she kept this a secret. This is a claim to fame. <laughs> she, there was a fingering cult. There was another comic that went to it, and I will not be saying the name, even though I think he said it before, but I've already said too much about this comic, and it always goes viral, and he probably wants me dead. But, um, and he was at the comedy store the other night. Oh. Okay, so, that's for her. But so, okay, so it's a, this woman started, and it's like, she said that, like, all of power is in female orgasm, and so they have these men come, like, little short men will, like, climb up on, like, a step. (laughs) These women just, like... 
will just spread eagle, will like diamond their legs open and like frog style. And then these men will just like make them come in front of everyone. And wait a and second. And whenever they're mad, they're like, you need to meditate. Nicole, and they Amy. Send, she was in it. She would like go and like a, a short man would come finger, finger her. her. <laughs> she would go to their house. Go to their house. And then I think what started happening was like the what? men were like, well, when's our pleasure coming? And then it was like, but men, it's like your pleasure's already like. And no, what started happening was way too many dudes were starting to just come and there wasn't enough. There weren't enough chicks. fingered to be fingered. <laughs> oh, Finger, okay, fingies. okay. This is odd. I, this, I don't like this. The idea of me being spread before? and a stranger who I did not have like a connection with fingering me in front of everyone. And you look at them first? Like, do you shake their hand? Well, <laughs> you're about to be inside me. I think they have to like do something. It's just, it's really it seems, weird. And then everyone's really like watching. Medical. They're like, oh. Yeah, this is medical. And what are the people doing watching? Do they think them themselves? Are they like. No, people are just like. Taking notes? Oh, okay. So the yep yeah. all that works. Yep. I don't like this. And then whenever they're upset, she'd like send them off to get masturbated. Get masturbated. Yeah. Fingering is gross. Look, fingerings. I, I, but fingerings. Have you fingered? Up, finger. I would never. No. That's why I think that's I why I'm not want, gay. I do like. I've had the flarp, you know, from Spencer Gifts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've enjoyed that, but I don't think I would, if there was like a smell or a, There's no sm a I mean, attached. I've eaten puss and fingered puss, but I think the fingering is, I, I'm like, I'm not a doctor. I don't need to be inside the body like this. You Rooting just the idea of being inside, but you don't like sticking your finger in a butthole. I'm not a butthole person. I don't mind doing the butt because the butt's not as wet. Hmm. I think it's very a woman. There's, like, there's a lot of stuff in there. Everyone's, there's so many things. Like, I don't think I know, my that's own like self. bigger than you think inside there, right? And there's like yeah. lips and nooks yeah. and crannies and like there's like a piece of calamari in there. I don't know what's going on in there. You know, like there's like a ring of calamari. <laughs> <laughs> there's something going on. It's just I'm yanking, finger, are you just I'm yanking yeah. nuva rings out of people? Yeah, yeah I'm just literally like, fingering sea life. <laughs> <laughs> but if like a really hot woman came up to you, it's not women, men in general fingering me. I don't love getting fingered. You don't like getting fingered. No, I don't. I don't think fingering fingering is fine. Because it feels there is a difference of like the the temperature of it when it goes into. But also, like nobody's the, good at fingering. There's so little people who are good at fingering. The worst. I have a fingering story, Todd. Earmuffs. Sorry, we're at hour fifteen. Oh my god, he's like wrap it up. But let me. I wish this guy had wrapped his fingers up. What happened to the chips? I got excited for the. Oh my god, chips. the chips! Sorry, I forgot yeah. all of my. Go get them, Todd. It's behind you. Oh. <laughs> go get go him. Go get him. Still. <laughs> you make him get it right there. <laughs> I would. I mean, I still want to hear the fingering story, but I also want a gross chip. Okay. Uh, no, she loves chips. It's really gross. It's really gross. <laughs> Which one is that? This is hot and spicy braised duck tongue flavor. <laughs> okay, Todd, your people are this? crazy. Take this one away because it smells so bad. I don't want her to get. <laughs> what is that one? Take this. This was one we tried. It was hot pot. It was, and I love hot pot. It's my favorite food. And this was not an acceptable. Okay. Okay, there's another one. Hot and spicy braised duck tongue. We spent tongue. five thousand dollars on these. Um, roasted garlic oyster flavor. Ew, ew, Speaking ew. Of, okay, the flies are We got are ready. to it. We got to it. Oh, it smells so bad. They're so okay, bad. Okay, okay, let me smell it. <laughs> okay, actually not bad. The flies right over here. Actually, the smell is kind of good. I like this. Oh, this so one smells better. The one that we had before. Okay, let me smell. No, oh, that's bad. Like ramen. That's bad. <laughs> that's not duck. good. Yeah, it's not good. Duck tongue. That's bad. Yeah. It's not horrible. It's not good. <laughs> Simply bad. No, the end of it's not bad. It's kind of spicy. It's better, much better than... Am I going to give Susan a hot braised hot. tongue? Should this, right? this is like basically dog food in a Having chip. a dog chew a chip is so funny. <laughs> oh, so cute. How's the oyster? Oh, is it bad? Oh, no. It's oystery. Oystery? Ew, ew, ew. I hate the smell of this one. <laughs> Why is he the biggest chip, too? Here, here. Smell the hot pot. You gotta have that. This, this was open no, yesterday. I, guess, I, can't, I can't remember the this one. This was open yesterday. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that one. No, that was bad. Smell it. You can't eat this, but just smell it. Mm. You could probably eat it. No, I'm actually sick ago. of that oyster one. But it was closed. <laughs> 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 that, that oyster really upset me. <laughs> That was really bad. It's not what it's not a good. Oh my god. I had to have another duck tongue to get rid of the taste. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta wash this down with some tongue. Oh my god. This is the place on Melrose. We they import the most disgusting things I've ever had. Mm. No, that, that honestly those are bad, the tongue. 
Why does hot pot the more it's open smell like chocolate? Ooh. It smells like coffee or something. No, the, those those oyster ones were really it's too upsetting. too oystery. No, it's a full Why oyster. Why is that? <laughs> no, I, it's my the oysters are going to be a chip. I'm gonna have you tried, uh, have you ever gone to Scotland? No. They got some wild flavors. Did you go to so. Edinburgh? Yeah. Really? How yeah, was years it? Ago. Oh, my, years ago, in 2012. Really? Too oh, early? Yeah, I did a sketch. It was crazy. Me and my best friend, Alison Hogg, was I'm doing a sketch team. I'm sickened and no, I can't. I don't know why you can't. <laughs> <laughs> She's loving this. I'm going to use my Lumi. <laughs> Pussy wipes on my tongue. No, it was bad. Guys, Lume not only helps you clean out the stench of your crotch, it also takes oyster off your fingers. And oyster. This, <laughs> those are not. And no, I am a chip I'm eater. Saying. I'm a chip eater. I love chips. <laughs> you know I have all dressed in Canada. Best chip. Oh, it's so good. We all, ruffles it's so, all dressed chips. Best. You that catch was up. why I thought about you about this because I was like, you are like, you guys are the king. I'm upset. Of, Let me try the other one. I'm trying the other one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I gotta try a lot. <laughs> Might be stale. Stale? How long was it? We opened yesterday. Oh, still good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm happy that you like that. That's a good chip. It's not bad chip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I lived in Santa Fe and I we went to Albuquerque to, to go like find some dudes that we didn't know for seven mm -hmm. years because it's such a small town. So me and my friends are like, we're gonna go out to some bars and we're going to like find some hot guys. We go, my friends, like we meet up with, I can't remember which friends I was with, but they're like, oh, this is my friend. Like his name is Lou or something. He's like from college. And he was like, he wasn't it. You know, he's a scrawny mm. little guy, but he was kind of the one like showing us around, you know? So come the end of the night, of course, only person you're left is Lou. You're getting fingered by we Lou. We drove an hour and a half. It's like, come on. We're sleeping over at Lou's. It's like, he's like, do you want to like hook up? And I was like, oh. he's like, I'm really good at, Finger and girl. Tastes good. So I go, okay, let's see what you got. Let's see. And now something like that. Um, he Ooh. is basically at this point taking DNA from inside my cervix. <laughs> I'm like, remember, you know, the cervical brush? I'm yeah, like, am yeah. I getting a full pap smear from this man? Dragging? I, it was dragging. It was horrible. I was like, I kept saying I had to pee so I could just like get him out of me. Like this was when I was young. I didn't know how to be like, Stop it's not it, it. bad. And what it would it would have been so easy now because he was so cocky about it. Mm. I could have easily just gone like, "Hey, you're not good at this. Yep. We're done." Thank you. But instead, I mean, he was fingering me for so long, he wouldn't stop because he was so sure he was good at this. His fingers were like pruned. I was like, "I'm not pruned. I'm they not going to come there for way so long, too long." Okay, wouldn't stop. Was so <sighs> sure he was going to make me squirt. And this was like before people were really talking yeah, about yeah, squirting. Yeah. It wasn't like a known thing to me, at least. So you know, up and in. He was trying to go up. He was trying to do the whole thing. <laughs> Now, it was so bad. I finally, I, this is the only time I've ever faked an orgasm. Well, actually twice. But. Yeah. <laughs> Todd and I have had sex once and <laughs> it was faked. Um, he, and then he called me out and he goes, did you just fake it? And I went, I'm sorry. I'm just tired. You admit it. But he, I had, I was like, come on, dude. But also, I, I like how I knew you were. Yes, he knew I was faking it, but he also was like, he told me literally to read Our Bodies Ourselves or My Body Myself, whatever that book is, the like oh, about, puberty book or whatever. Oh, God. He was like, he's like, no, because I was like, I have to pee, but that was just my excuse to get out of there. Yeah. And he was like, no, 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 you just, your body needs to come. You need to just release. If you pee on me, it's fine. I won't tell anyone. I'm like, if I pee on you, I'll tell every person on this earth. <laughs> yeah, I won't tell anybody. I will. I will tell, I will tell every human. I will forever. You, I didn't even pee on you, and I'm telling people now, and this is 20 years later. I would tell every single person. It was 20 years later. I, I wish so I remember not tell anybody PP on me. Ew. You know, it's like, ew. ew. Like, just tell me that's what you want. How do you, get, like, uh, what does he I, ask after everyone? Was I got good? his phone number and I called him or his email or something because this was back in the day, maybe MySpace. Oh, God. I sent him a message. I was like, after two weeks, I go, do you have my HPV results? <laughs> <laughs> he must have laughed. I don't know if he laughed. I never talked to him again oh after my God. that. I had to just have my last moment. That's so but it funny. Was, I remember he was being so like arrogant about my own body. Yeah. But I then have I had so many cancer? terrible guys that were like, didn't give a f at all that I was like, maybe that guy was a good guy. You know what? He was just trying. He was a good guy. I'm he sure he has 15. I'm sure he's got grandkids now. He might have grandkids. He's probably at home sucking on some oyster chips some right now. Some cholitas <laughs> in Albuquerque. All right. You're the best. I want to have you on. Thank you for More, having me. You're the best. This so, is so funny. Fun. It's been fun getting to know you. Uh, I'm gonna. It's fun go having find you Max. at the comedy store. Max, I'm kidding. Max, <laughs> what you've done, honestly, I'm so. 
Uh, bring Max to the comedy store if he's legally okay. allowed in. Okay. Yeah, he is allowed in. So. You would eat him alive, though. <laughs> You'd eat him like a. He wasn't <laughs> Max being me. He's like gagging repulse. He's like, that's the thing. <laughs> Don't let him see me on stage, though. Make sure he misses my set. I can't have. People see me on stage. I told you I was like hanging out with Tim. We were watching this movie. And he had like, Tim's like friends with one of like the Sony execs. Or we were like watching this movie. I don't know if I'm supposed to, who cares? But we're watching this movie in this little screening room. And he he has this like cute little, like this guy that was in Wednesday. Did you meet him? No. He's this little actor is like 21 or 22. And he was like, who was that girl? He was like, him and his friends like quote you all the time. You like killed in front of Tim once. Oh yeah, yeah. It's good. You don't like being good at comedy? No, I do. I'm like, I don't know, yeah. You're like, I'm used to it. Everyone's... No, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, are you I feel perverted when a 21 year old likes me. What? I don't care when a 21 year old likes me. No, it's, I feel perverted. It was like I'm a like... sexual thing. Well, I know. I don't know what I'm you saying. You know how much, okay, wait. Chips got Tim me high. Tim have these like young actors around that are like cool, you know? <laughs> he did a movie with a couple of them. They'll like come around and get each other's like, everyone will be like, oh, what's your Instagram? And they'll just like walk by. I'm like, I you know, hello. used to clean up with your age group. <laughs> Do you understand? Not anymore. I know. It's over. It's all over. I got a ticket. <laughs> we'll fight it. All Thanks. right, guys. I'll see you in traffic court. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, how do you fight it? You're just like, I went through it. I went there. I went to the court. And then you were just hoping the guy wouldn't show up. Oh yeah, and he was there. He was such an asshole. And he was the only cop that showed up. Everybody else got off. Oh really? I was so pissed. Me and five of the people were like looking around, like our cops are gonna show. And then we turn but around. But then you and get the him. points on your license when they. they yeah, rule. I think it's back. I don't know. It's, I took the school thing. It's stupid. Oh, then you can take the school thing. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll talk off camera. We'll tell each other all the names. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out who I hate <laughs> in the comments. You guys are the best. We really do. We love each other. It's the meat and potatoes. Welcome to any wood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of the sleep and nannies. Yeah, welcome to any wood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of the sleep and nannies. I'm going up ayahuasca. I'm about to prosper. Blingy on my drinky, and Randy is living proper. Protector of the sick, she'd never let her fishes die. Never known to tell a lie, she even fixed Todd's eyes. Shout out to the slugs, shout out Woody's too. Shout out Esther and Kalila and the Annie Wood crew. Cause this is Annie Wood, you know that this is how I'm living. Real and never pretending shit, you know that it's a gift. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies, and Fannies, and all of the Sipa Nannies.